Okay, well, hi again everyone, I'm back ranting on Mass Effect 3. Uh, this whole new extended cut ending that they've thrown out there for free, I'm sorry, but it's clear to me that Bioware really hasn't got a clue why the, most of the fans were angry to begin with. I mean, they've blatantly gone and ignored the main issues that we had with the bloody ending. You know, they still don't make sense. You know, they need to be changed. They don't need to have you sprinkle a load of bloody shit on top of what we already had. It, you know, I mean, I covered this in my last bloody video, that Star Child is the biggest plot hole there is. The fact that he's even in it means that no matter what you extend on, if he's still in the ending, then the ending's going to be broken, period. You know, the fact that you've just extended on an ending that didn't belong to you, it belonged to Square Enix's Deus Ex Human Revolution, but that's a different bloody argument, full stop. I hope Bioware end up getting bankrupted by Square Enix taking them to court for stealing. And, you know, because they certainly don't deserve the fans that they've got, because they really can't be bothered to listen to them, apparently. It's, it does my head in. You know, the, the endings just contradict so bloody much, and extending on those contradictions isn't going to make them any less contradictory. You know, Bioware really need to pull their fingers out of their bloody ass before they end up losing losing their hardcore loyal fan base. You know, it's it all this already happened. You know, the f hardcore fan base, if you're reading the bloody forums, although the majority of them were raging at first, now it's split into the half that like it, the half that don't, the half that don't have turned around and said, fuck you, basically. You know, me being one of them, because I can't believe that a company that has made a career out of making such in-depth bloody games, you know, and Mass Effect. All, all the way throughout the Mass Effect series, you had codex entries for absolutely bloody everything, you know, and explaining anything and everything that you come in contact with in the Mass Effect bloody series, and then Mass Effect 3 comes out. It just doesn't make sense. It's like it's like bloody a completely different company made the game. Cause it's not the Bioware that I bloody know and love, that's for sure. It's, just, it's, it's like they turned round and said, Okay, well we're gonna take all these people, all these people that made this game so amazing, we're gonna take them, throw them out of the bloody company, replace them with all these bloody people. And although we're still gonna have the Bioware bloody name, it's not actually gonna be Bioware anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, alright, whatever. Go to hell. I'm sorry, but you can't extend on something that's broken and expect it to be fixed. It's, it's just not possible. The only way to fix something is to actually bloody make changes, not actually bloody extend on things that are already broken, because that's just going to make it even more broken. You know, that's, that's like turning around and bloody saying, Oh, I know. You know, Humpty Dumpty's on the bloody floor, all in pieces. Well, instead of trying to put, put him back together again, why don't we just throw all these pieces on top of him? That'll fix it. <sighs> yeah, whatever. I don't know. You know, I, you know, I can understand why so many people are still upset. You know, people that are actually willing to see past... Oh, well, they gave us free, L free DLC. Yeah, what the shit? Doesn't mean to say that it's fixed. Come on, Star Child's still in it. Hell no, it's not fixed. How can it be bloody fixed when the biggest plot hole is still there? You know, aside from all the niggledy little bloody bits leading up to the bloody ending that just didn't make sense, you know? I mean, like the whole Crucible thing. You know, the Reapers just didn't give a shit about this thing being built. You know, this thing has the capacity to be able to rewrite them, slash bloody synthesize all life, slash destroy them. So, it's got the potential to do all this shit, 
and yet the Reapers left it, left you alone throughout the entire game for you to build something that would would inevitably lead to their destruction. Hmm. And yet they didn't give a shit. Aside from the bloody fact of, oh yeah, when the Reapers wiped out the Propians and bloody left, you know, they harvested all bloody, all technology, bloody everything of value, destroyed everything bloody else and hardly anything was left of them. And yet they managed to miss the archive, the archive which held the schematics for this weapon that was able to destroy them. Yeah, because that makes sense. What, and this ending's supposed to be fixed, despite the fact that all these plot holes are still bloody out there going, Hello! Fuck you! You know, this is... You know, Bioware claims to listen to the fans, but clearly their ears aren't bloody... aren't working properly, either that or they need to clean them out, because if they were truly listening, then they would know the reasons why we were angry to begin with. Not just, oh, well, uh, yeah, if we add all these, then it'll shut them up. It's basically their attitude, and I'm sorry, but that attitude stinks. It stinks, and it's not the attitude of a company that I want to support anymore. So if all you people out there that decide, Oh yeah, Mass Effect 3's ending's amazing now, you, two, you lot want to carry on supporting a, bi a bloody Bioware when they clearly are no longer the company that bloody we all fell in love with? Go ahead. I have no intention of doing so, and neither will a lot of people like me, so... It looks like Bioware's just lost half their hardcore fan base, so I hope you're able to recover from this, because I can guarantee Bioware this attitude of yours over this whole scenario has cost you. It might not be obvious now, but believe me, in the long run, it's going to cost them, because they've lost hard, half of their hardcore fan base, which means that there'll be less people pre-ordering the bloody game, and with all the normal bloody players out there having seen all the controversy and rage over the ending of Mass Effect 3, they're going to be weary about pre-ordering their games. You know, if they do end up buying them, then they're going to wait for fan reviews rather than listening to the likes of, ooh, let me lick your ass, IGN. You know, so there's another thing that's not going to go in their favour. No, they're going to lose money on all the merchandise that they would have sold to all the hardcore fans that no longer support them because of all this bullshit. You know, merchandise like the books, the hoodies, etc., etc., losing them in sales on DLC. So I hope you know what you've done, Bioware, by alienating half of your hardcore fan base. For your own sake, I hope you know what you're doing. But anyway, enough of my ranting for now. Hmm. You're all free to make up your own mind on what you think of this, in my opinion, absolute bullshit crap that they've gone and hurled at us for free. So, go back, go play, make up your mind and, you know, tell the dickheads what you think. Excuse my language, but this topic makes me very angry. So anyway, that's me, gone. See you later. Good luck, Bioware. Something tells me you're going to need it.